Hi! Welcome to Donsky Tech. In this video, I will share with you my exploration of using ESP Now, MicroPython, Wi-Fi, and MQTT. I will share with you how easy it is to integrate these technologies that you could apply to your Internet of Things project. This integration gives IoT developers the power to wirelessly transfer data between devices, bridging the divide between local communication and wider Wi-Fi connectivity. For example, a sensor outside our house that is beyond the reach of our Wi-Fi is connected to one of our ESP32 devices. It can transfer the sensor readings to another ESP32 inside our house that is simultaneously connected to our home Wi-Fi network. This device could then transmit its data to an external MQTT server, which in turn could notify subscribers about the sensor readings. We then could view our sensor readings in a web application dashboard where we could see the sensor readings in colorful graphs or charts. In my current setup from my previous video, I have here my set of sensors connected to my ESP32. Imagine this is the, the ESP32 that is outside our house. I have here a PIR motion sensor, an infrared distance sensor, and a DHT32 temperature and humidity sensor. Imagine that we are building our home security system in a weather station project. This sensor can transmit their data wirelessly into this ESP32 using ESP Now. As you can see, these LEDs and buzzer will light on and create an alert sound whenever something moves or the IR sensor detects some movement. So, at the same time, this I2 LCD also displays the temperature and humidity sensors in real time. So, let's try. As you can see, whenever the infrared distance sensor is triggered, then an alert sound is created by this buzzer and these LEDs are turning on. It works as expected, but the additional power of this setup is that this ESP32 is connected to my Wi-Fi network as well. Aside from updating these components, it is sending its data to my Mosquito MQTT server simultaneously. As you can see from my screen here, I am subscribed to a particular topic like here called Air, and then I am receiving the sensor readings from my ESP32. So, let's try. As you can see from my screen here, whatever data that I am seeing from my ESP32 that sends the sensor readings, I am able to retrieve it also to my Mosquito MQTT server. As you can see, if you have this particular setup wherein your data can be sent to your Mosquito MQTT server, then it means that we can view this data in colorful graph or charts when we are creating our own dashboard or if we are using MQTT service, they already have pre-built in charts and graph that we can use. In a separate video, we will create our custom web dashboard Display this ESP Now sensor readings in our own custom graphs and chart. So, in this current setup, you would notice that 
using ESP now and my ESP32 connected to my Wi-Fi, then we can get the data coming from another ESP32 and send it simultaneously to an MQTT server using your Wi-Fi. Would you like to learn more about this setup? Then let's start exploring. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is a manufacturer specializing in PCB prototyping, low volume production, and PCB assembly service all under one roof. It is one of the most experienced companies in China in the field of PCB prototyping and fabrication. They provide you with different options on how you, you want your PCB output to be manufactured. Plus, they offer free shipping and are and are an ISO 9001 certified manufacturer, so you are sure about the quality of your product. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, then PCB Way is a great choice for you. Visit their site at www.pcbway.com. Now, I would like to discuss a little bit how did I come up with this solution for my current needs. Uh, as I have mentioned in this series, there is not much information that I can find regarding the ESP now support in MicroPython. The very first thing that you can look up is the official documentation for ESP now in MicroPython, and it has a link called ESP now and Wi-Fi operation. This section contains general information on how you can run your project using ESP now and connect it to your Wi-Fi. However, one thing that I could not find out is a concrete example on how to use this. So I tried to look for information in the internet and in the GitHub discussion of MicroPython, I saw this thread called enabling ESP now and Wi-Fi at the same time. This guy, together with the support of the one that created the micro ESP now support in MicroPython, was very generous to create an example uh, zip file that we can check out. Also, the one that supports or created the created the PR for the ESP now already has some information that we can adapt in this discussion. I highly suggest that you read through this information here. And if you try to look at this project source file, you will notice that it is using some of the libraries written by the same request creator and if you try to look at the source code you would notice that it is using some of the libraries such as the wifi.py and other uh, utility classes here. In regards to sending the messages through MQTT, I use this library created by Peter Hinch which is the MicroPython Asynchronous MQTT. I specifically chosen this library. Since I am using asynchronous I.O., then it is good idea to use an asynchronous MQTT also. If you have been using the UMQTT Simple or UMQTT Robust library, then you would notice that it is using a blocking socket. So that's why whenever something blocks, then you have to wait. So if you're using async I.O., then I highly suggest that you use this particular library also. There are some getting started uh, link here that you can use for your project and how to use this library and some examples. Now, uh, in the code section of this video, I will show you how all of this code is being used so that we can send the device sensor readings through ESP now and send it also to our MQTT server through our Wi-Fi connection. So now let's try to walk through the code and how to set it up and test it also. So I have here two instances of my Tony IDE. The one at the left is called my Async Master. Yeah, the one at the right is called my async client. The async master refers to this ESP32, which is simultaneously connected to my Wi-Fi network. And the async client is, to, is refers to this one, 
where my sensors are connected. As you can see from this code here, uh, this was taken from the GitHub discussion that I'm showing you about the ESP now in MicroPython. And then I have taken some of the files also from the utils. So this one, some of the files are taken here also. And some of the MQTT, I think Kronos is taken also from this GitHub repository. So let me try to walk you through first the important files in this program. Let's start with the master. For the master part, uh, this ESP now node, uh, as you can see, is just a class that can shape the synchronous ESP now and add the peers. And then after adding the peers, then it does its job. Next, we have this class called the Wi-Fi node.py. This Wi-Fi node.py is what we're using to connect to our uh, Wi-Fi using the SSID and password. So I have here a file called wi config.py. Just replace this value with your setup for SSID and password. Next, we also have this code called the ESP now scan and the Wi-Fi.py. I have taken them directly from the utils, yes, MicroPython ESP Now Utils. And what this ESP, ESP Now Utils is doing is that it just makes our program bulletproof so that if something is not connecting, then we can use this uh, utility classes. And there's also the ESP Now Scan, which scans for the channels for the ESP Now peers. So they're both taken from these uh, GitHub libraries. Next, we also have this mqtt underscore as dot py. The mqtt underscore as dot py was taken directly from the library by Peter Hinch. So it's almost the same. Just copy it there. And the code that I have here is the main dot py. In the main dot py, so let me just close this file section here so that it may it will become bigger. So in the main.py, what I'm doing is that I have here, I have imported first the different modules that I would be needing, including the async IO and the uh, machine GPIO and then how to drive the different components. And for the MAC address, which is the MAC address of the uh, client that I would be uh, exchanging messages. I have it also. Then I have here some configuration for the MQTT AS. And then I have also here configuration for the MQTT client. So I just instantiate a class of MQTT. Next, the ESP now node is the one that I am, I am creating when I wanted to create an ESP now node and I have here also a Wi-Fi node that will connect me to my Wi-Fi and the following uh, PIR pin and LCD and the buzzer is related on how I can drive the components connected to my ESP32. Next, I have here also the different routines for the trigger PIR alert and the infrared alert and then the display temperature humidity and display humidity also. And as you can see from the program, there is a code here that publishes to my MQTT, which by the way is running. Here is my MQTT, Mosquito MQTT server. So and I am subscribed to a particular topic called alert so that I, I get notified for this particular topic. So whenever I receive an alert coming from my client, then I will just publish the, the topic alert and the message that you would see in here. And then there is also a separate uh, coroutines here for the MQTT asynchronous. You can add more if the project needs some logic to react for any messages, then you can use this uh, tool. Uh, routines here. Now the wait for message is the message that 
mostly I use for the messages. So for the messages, whenever something is uh, sent back to me, what I'm doing is just parse the message. And if there is a PIR alert, I will just call the trigger PIR alert. Same also with the trigger infrared alert and the display temp humidity. Next, for the uh, main function here, this is my main function. Uh, as you can see, the very first thing that it does is just it connects to the MQTT. And then there is an async IO that slip here. And there is also the gather where all of the coroutines are being loaded to our async IO event loop. And we just run our event loop using this main method. So that's basically how the, uh, the client, sorry, the master is set up. And for the client, let's discuss the client. I'm just going to view the file section here. In the file section, it's similar. There is an ESP now node and ESP now scan Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi node. The only difference is this one, the main.py. So in the main.py that we have here, what we're doing is just create the port the same. And then we have also the Wi-Fi node and the MAC address and the ESP now node. And I have here the readings, GPIO connections for my sensors. And as you can see, if something, if PIR motion is triggered, then we just send an asynchronous send. And then there, this is the message that we're seeing, the PIR alert detected. Same also with the DHC temperature. So right now, it hits the temperature and humidity at the same time and send it uh, back to the ESP now. And I sleep for 30 seconds. And then the IR data, for the IR data, we just need to check for the message here and then send the uh, details of the data also to the asynchronous send of the ESP now. For the main function, what I'm just doing here is just load everything in the, uh, how do you call this one? In the event loop. And then we just run the async io that run that main. So basically that's how the prog uh, the program is uh, being created or being run. And how do we uh, load or deploy this program? What I'm doing is I just copy everything here in this program and upload everything into my ESP32 firmware. So that's how you can run this project. So just copy everything and then upload also. And then you can run after doing the loading or uploading the program, you can just press Control D. And as you can see, when everything is okay, and we should be able to see these uh, messages. So let me try again. So as you can see, there is an alert detected here from my Mosquito MQTT server. So that's the setup that I have for this particular project. So this is how I particularly set up my project. So if you have any questions or comment, I am... Uh, I would like to hear it from you or if there's something that I need to add in this post, then I would be glad to do it also. The code for this project is available in my GitHub repository and the write-up also is available on my blog. So if you need to check out something, then you can go to my blog. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!